Hi, I just want to make a quick video about traveling and being a vegan. Uh, in my opinion, there's three things that um, are really useful, especially when it's places like uh, Eastern Europe, where they use, for example, a Russian alphabet, and you can't even read on the back of uh, um, like packets of food, whether it's uh, got anything you can or can't eat in, or if you go to a restaurant and they don't understand English. The first thing is happy cow. Now, I'd, and most of you probably have uh, come across it, but if not, it's a website that shows you all the vegan restaurants and shops and places that um, serve meat that serve vegan options in the area so if you type in I don't know for example uh, I don't know Berlin or London or something and you type in the postcode exactly where you are it's going to come up with a whole array of uh, restaurants and all sorts of things in the area you can eat and there's got they're all rated, you know, people go there and they uh, give reviews and stuff, so you know it's going to be good before you go there. You can get an app on your phone, like this, which I uh, strongly recommend. I think it costs, like, I don't know, pound fifty or, I don't know, it costs a bit, you have to pay for it. But having that on your phone is great, because when I go travelling and I can't use my, uh, uh, my internet on my phone, you just go to um, an internet cafe or something, get your Wi-Fi on, and you can immediately see where's, where uh, where um, where you are and you know what sort of uh, places are near you and where's good to eat. So that's the first thing. The second thing I got from the Vegan Society. It's called the Vegan Passport, and uh, this thing is fantastic. It translates this into like 95 different languages, and it says. I'm vegan. On principle, vegans do not eat anything of animal origin for the benefit of people, animals and the environment. And then it says stuff we do not eat, meat, chicken, fish, shellfish. And then it says we do eat rice and potatoes. And then at the end it says, can you please provide a meal which meets our requirements? So this is great. I mean, if you go to a restaurant, I've only used it like once, but it did work. You just go up to someone and you find the correct language and then you hand it to them. Now we'll be able to read it to you and, and make you a meal. And also, at the, um, the back of it, which really makes me laugh, you know, they've got a, it says, if all else fails, and it's got a, a picture of cows and chickens and fish with an unhappy face. And then vegetables and stuff with a happy face. So I think that's really good. Um, and also it's got um, a vegan airline meal code. I've never used that, but I presume that's uh, a code you have to give to the airlines you're travelling on if you're having a meal and they'll understand what it means. But this is definitely worth getting. And thirdly, the, th the third most important thing to use when travelling and eating abroad um, is common sense. I travelled to, um, where was it, uh, Bosnia. And I was having a real tough time of it because it's incredibly meaty. There, um, Happy Cow um, was coming up with like virtually nothing, and I was really hungry, and there was not much uh, um, I could do about it other than going to shops and using common sense. If you're out and about and you're hungry and you want to eat something, but you can't read labels and stuff, just stick to the safe side. Stick with fruit and vegetables. I know it's boring. I know it's not that exciting, but. Um, at least you can get by and it's normally cheap and you'll know that you're not eating anything dodgy. Um, I mean, there's loads of different uh, examples of that, but also if you can find um, find someone who does speak English or your language, try and, um, try and get them to translate and ask if it's okay. Um, when I went to France recently, um, I got my friend Joel to do that for me. And um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can get by that way. I mean, it's a lot, lot less exciting then looking up vegan restaurants and places you can eat and stuff on happy cow but you can definitely get by like that anyway those are my three um my three bits of advice if you're going traveling thank you for watching and i hope that um, was useful and helpful and um yeah thank you very much